Hey guys, so uh, Leif here from uh, ATEC. Uh, today I'm going to show you the latest uh, i series. We've got the C250i uh, here and the uh, Papercut uh, embedded interface. So we've got the latest version of Papercut, version 19, it's up to at the moment. So if you have a look here, we'll give you a quick rundown on how the screen looks, how it works with the new interface, and, uh, and how it all uh, yeah, looks with the new new GUI, the new layout on the uh, new i-series user panel. So first uh, we've got the screen screen saver if you like for the background at the moment it's just running all with the uh, default settings. So if I hit the home button you can see that's one way or just tapping the screen will uh, will wake up the, the screen if you like. So we're now at the home screen ready to log in so we can use username and password or ID number or of course tapping our card we've got the card reader on the side here so I've just got one of these blue fobs so I'm going to log in with that and I'm now at the um, Papercut MF login screen so we've got our usual layout it's uh, very familiar to the to the previous 8 series as well so I'll go through the first one, print release. Uh, obviously I don't have a print job to be released at the moment, but uh, that's where they would be. Uh, I can go back to the uh, reset, back to the home screen, log back in again. And I go into device functions. That's probably the main, main difference with the new i-series. Depending on, I'll just go in there, I've got the uh, information there, login. So at the device uh, screen, now you can see the new layout. This is called the basic layout. So on the new i-series, you can choose if you want the classic layout, which will revert back to the old style user interface, if you like, or the 8 series, which is if I go into the classic style, you can see this is a familiar screen. To the with the same uh, uh, user interface as before but if I go back to the new screen you can toggle back and forth between the screens here with the basic style uh, so this is the new layout so I'll briefly go through these just as a quick intro if I go into the copy screen you can see it it's totally revamped it's more like a maybe almost like a printer driver uh, wizard uh, type layout, but it looks much more modern and it's much easier I think to find your way around the basics with this layout um, But again, you've got your standard Options for color or black and white for co this is for copying density uh, paper tray selection Zooming reduce and enlarge and duplex settings. They're all there uh, and you can see that everything is basically on the new touch screen. There are no buttons, no hard buttons outside of this uh, screen. So, for example, if you want number of copies, you've got the number pad on here. For example, make that selection and just hit start when you're ready. So, now I'm just going to go back, back out. So that's our logout button, similar to the access button we used to have on the previous models. So I'm just going to select yes to that to take us back to the paper cut home screen we can log back in again and I'm just going to go into device functions and show the, you the scanning part as well so if I log back into the device uh, I can go to the scan to email button on there and of course you've got the option of scanning back to me which, that you normally have on the on the previous uh, layout as well so scan to me and select your settings along the side there with whether you want color whether you need to alter the scan size resolution select your file type single and double sided and also renaming the document so that's a very quick overview of those functions uh, now I can go back to if you hit reset that'll just reset the settings on this screen but if we go back to the home button, that'll take you back to the home button of the de of the uh, device screen, if you like. And we can uh, go back up to there. 
there's a couple of different ways you can log out so you can tap on there to log out and back to the main screen uh, last thing I want to show you I'm going to log in one more time and uh, go through the third option on the main paper cut screen which is the scan option because this is the standard uh, scan the paper cut scan interface and I've by the way I've enabled the uh, integrated scanning on here that's why we've got all these options uh, this will look exactly the same as on the 8 series or any model uh, depending on what version of Papercut you're loading because this is the native Papercut screen. So uh, that's about it. There's a very quick rundown on and I'll just go back out, log out. Uh, a quick rundown on, oh sorry, okay hit the top yeah you gotta hit the top button to log out and there we go so that's a quick rundown on papercut 19 and the konica minolta new i series one thing i'd like to mention about uh, that i've found just from uh, testing uh, the new i series and papercut version 19 uh, is that th there was a few glitches I found on the screen with the current firmware, the default firmware that came uh, with the machine. So I'm just going to show you on here. Uh, I've had no problems testing uh, with the latest firmware, but if I go into utility and device information, uh, on the second page here, you can see this is where you can check the firmware version and the last digit there before the bracket. So this is the firmware version 38 which is the latest uh, right now uh, uh, that is available. Uh, the um, firmware that was shipped with the machine was version 23 and I did find some flickering issues. The screen would go black and there was a, a, little, a few things that didn't quite look right. Uh, but straight away we updated the firmware to 38. Again, that's the current right now and uh, it, everything seemed to work uh, perfectly. So that's the uh, initial testing with Papercut 19 and the i-series Konica Minolta. Thumbs up.